I usually don't waffle, but I gotta admit to you, I don't know, and let me explain why. On one hand, I looked at it and I said... You never waffle. I said, nah, he's, you know, I don't wanna attach that kind of negative stigma to a player. I don't think he would do something like that intentionally. He was defending the play, et cetera, et cetera. Then I watched my man Jalen Rose last night on TV. Like admitting, a suit, admit, admitting what he did against Kobe. I watched him and Chauncey talking about it. I realized, and then I heard Chauncey bring up the word and the name Eric Snow. Uh -huh. And I remember several people used to complain about that because Eric Snow was a stout defender for the New York, for the Philadelphia 76ers in the, in the uh, Allen Iverson era, Max. And I, and I thought about all of this stuff, and I, I watched it about 15 times, and I'm thinking, I rewinded it back, and I'm like, I don't want to attach it to him, but he slid under. I mean, he could have contested it without, without so conveniently don't make sliding under the there. syrup. I, this, I, you're I, not waffling. You made a decision. Hard. I, 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 listen, I'm just saying, what's hard for me... You think it's What's dirty. hard for me is that it's such a dirty play. Yes, it's oh, now. Oh, it's such, oh, now. Let me finish. It's such a dirty play that I don't want to sit up there without absolute certainty Allow me. and say somebody did that. Allow oh, me. Sure, go ahead. Allow me. Sure. It was a dirty play. Period. Obviously, from the first replay, you could see it was a dirty play. Props to Jeff Van Gundy, who, by the way, is, you know, he was a great coach, maybe even a better broadcaster. Amazing. But he got that right, right on the spot. Of course, it's a dirty play. It's a dirty... Jalen talked about it, and he did it. Bruce Bowen used to do it. Bill Lambert... Larry Bird was once talking about why he hated Bill Lambeer, why he was a dirty player. He pointed to that play, plays just like that as a dirty play. In boxing, Stephen A., we know the type. You're a huge boxing fan. You see it. Guy has a big head, he bald head. He plans on using his head to headbutt. Sure. What, what does he do, just charging with his head? No, but when they're close, he swings his head, and it's like, look, if your face happens to be there, not my problem, you're going to catch this head. That's what that play is. Pachulia was, is giving you a real disincentive to try to shoot in front of him because he's going to not give you a place to land. What, did he mean to knock Kawhi out of the game, jeopardize the series but by see, doing that? that? See, that not necessarily. That's, probably. But, but, time out, time out. But, but hey, if you I'm happen going. to land where but I am. But that's where I'm going. But that's a dirty play. Wait, that's wait, why wait, the rules in place. I, I don't view it that way. In other words, if based on what you're saying, if you're telling me, Oh, if you just your ankle just happens to be there, that's your problem. Yep. That's entirely different than a player going like this. He got hurt last game. He's a bit hobbled. And then I saw him trip into his own player just a few plays earlier, and he's been limping ever since. Let me take him out of here. That's an entirely different two. Um, well, who those says he two, wasn't thinking I, that? No, 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 I'm saying those are two separate scenarios. Okay, okay, but who's... This see, here's my point. So you're saying his intention wasn't to take him out, I don't, and that's no. why it's not dirty. I'm, say, I'm saying to you... He just wanted to I'm, mess all, up the shot. All I'm trying to explain is that the reason why I'm waffling is because I'm saying to you, you're I can't waffling. come out and say, yo, Oh, that was your intent. I can't do I'm that not saying, unless I know. I'm not saying Petrullia was trying to knock him out of the well, series. To me, but I am saying this. It, ain't dirty. it is dirty because there's a rule you got to give the offensive player a place to land, specifically because of situations like this. Now, Kawhi was, had already re-aggravated the, the injury. He'd yes. already done that. And I felt at the time, watching that game, it's unlikely he finishes that game, this game. I thought that. I was like, they got a big lead. I don't think this guy plays in the fourth quarter. Maybe even take him out before then. He, he was clearly favoring it. But the reason that rule is in place is for safety. And when you know that guy has that specific injury and you pay no attention to that rule, well, then you, we can't sit here and say well, he play, wasn't well, trying well, to listen, knock him out. Well, that That's does, obviously that, a benefit that to does, them. That does require not just a level of maliciousness, but also a level of intelligence that I have never attached to Ja Ja Pajulia. I am sorry. This is foreign to me. Other players, the Bill Lambeers of the world, the others, it might be a bit obvious. I would know that. This is not something that I know about Ja Ja. Now, let me not underestimate Ja Ja. There are people he has played against that have talked about his physical nature. Fair enough, but that's all I've ever heard about him. He, I'm, I'm saying to you that... Is Jaja a, a dirty player? I say yes. I see what I, he does. I, I, he, I, he continually... He, there are plenty of examples in the past, of, including against Kawhi, where he's tugging on the shoulder. But, where, and, in fact, Deadspin has this right now and, and has video of it. Mm -hmm. has a, what's it called? A gif? A gif? What's it called? How old am I? I, I, I don't know either. Yeah, that's the point that. is... The point is that this is not a mystery. Does, does, is that guy rough and tumble? Yes. 
Does he walk it right up to the line? Yes. In this case, it crossed the line. And look, I thought the Warriors are going to win the series anyway, but they probably very likely lose that game. And maybe another the way Kawhi was playing. They they he was the that, best player on the floor by a lot. They would have lost. They would have had a shot. They would have lost. They, the they shot? absolutely positively would have won yesterday's game yeah. if Kawhi had not gone down. There is no question about that in my mind. They would have won. The a Spurs 25. would have won that game. 23 at the time that he went down. But I will tell you this again. That's a basketball play that you see happen all the time, regardless it's of what... It's dirty every time. Regardless of what Greg, Jeff Van Gundy, anybody says, it happens all the time. Where the word dirty comes into the equation, as far as I'm concerned, is what I hearken back to what Jalen Rose You played Rose ball in say, college, right? Jalen Rose had to you say. You played ball in college. Yes. Would you rather, in terms of your future as a basketball player, or just would you rather have someone swing on you on the court or not give you a place to land? Swing on me. You would rather have him swing on you, right. right? Right, That's because right. it's actually less dangerous. Right. It doesn't jeopardize your future but in the I same also way. Know, but when I, I also know that when you're a marksman, people are lunging out at you to defend your perimeter shot. Yep. And as a result, sometimes they come into you. Or a matter of fact, all the time, usually. They usually do that. They're just flying by you. They're doing something. But in they're his coming case, into you. In his case, he takes that. You. I've heard the defense of this on Twitter. Everyone's going back and forth. In his case, he takes that extra step, and people are saying, well, it's his momentum. But it's interesting that his momentum carried him very conveniently <laughs> exactly to where Kawhi would be landing. Again, is it to injure Kawhi? Not necessarily. But it is like, okay, if you shoot against me, uh, careful where you come down.